been snowing for the whole night and I think we've gotten about 20 centimeters of snow <laughs> in one night. It's not actually really cold, so this is like this, you know, um, perfect snow fight, <laughs> kind of snow. And it's, it's really beautiful here. Everything has turned white. All the trees and everything is covered with snow. And I'm really happy because it's the Christmas holidays, so it's really nice to have all this snow and you know just have this really winter feeling Christmas came and we visited our families and relatives, ate a lot of good food, <laughs> too much of it, and I really enjoyed the warm feeling of being surrounded by people. But to tell you the truth, I'm not really used to spending so much time with other people aside from my own family and I quickly start to long for my own peace and space and a more quiet way of life. For me it feels solitude is necessary. Even a small amount of time in solitude gives the inner strength to be with others and give them my all. Still, these moments of sharing and togetherness are so valuable. Especially since we never know when we can lose someone dear to us. Now New Year is approaching and it's a natural time for change and reflection. What do you want to experience the coming year? What do you feel you want to let go of? I feel the turning of the year serves well as a chance to let go of things that no longer serve us. Sometimes we listen too much to the people around us and let their opinions hold us back. Or the commonly accepted way of life or seemingly important life goals that are held in high regard. But what is it that you, just you, want from this new year?
for me, this coming year will change many things, especially in regards to family life and work, and I'm excited and a little nervous at the same time. I'm wishing you a wonderful new year, and I hope we all have a new year full of new adventures. It's a new year tomorrow and it's quite grey today but it's been really peaceful here in our village during the holidays and I really like it. I always feel that when the year turns um, it's really good to pause for a while to reflect back on the year that you've had and you know be grateful for the good things and also maybe be mindful of those things that you want to let go of and don't want to drag to the coming year because I feel we sometimes have these bad habits or relationships or whatever work or things that we get so used to that we don't actually even notice <laughs> that we could let go of them and you know maybe go to a new direction so if you have any goals or visions for the new year I'd really love to hear them and you know share them in this community and for me I think it's not so much things that I want for the coming year but it's more um, well there are two things <laughs> and I'll share them later but more it's kind of like this theme for the year of abundance and you know this creative um, flow that I want to incorporate in my life more with family and all things it's sometimes a struggle to keep on creating as much as I'd want so that's one thing I really want to bring into my daily life more again and paint more and write more and you know create more of these videos because this is a really wonderful outlet for creating photography and all these things and I'm so happy to see so many more of you here in this channel and yeah I'm just really grateful for the past year and I really hope this coming year will be a good year for you and there will be many good things to come so skull for the new year and I'll see you again next year Bye-bye.